Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as Great Britain. In the last episode, we managed to sink a couple of Russian cruisers, but we are still at war with them. And given their alliances, we are looking at a pretty long war now, and we'll have to grind them down. Maybe we can bring their battleships to battle one day, we'll see. And, oh, wireless telegraphy. Fantastic. The enemies dominate the fleet around Zanzibar and a bunch of other places. Annoyingly enough. Those are good proper names. Oh yeah, British ship names. Well, it's the naming ships after, well, they have a long list, but... The Greek names and the virtuous quality names and such. Very mixed bag, I guess, but a lot of them are very good. Well, they got. They only have submarines that are nuclear powered, but they've got them. And I'm pretty sure they bought the re. Well. They bought a lot of stuff off of uh, the US. I don't know if they bought. The reactors might be in house developed. Oh yeah, Rolls Royce built, so that's um technically different, but uh Yeah. They bought a lot of early stuff from us and then kind of go through phases of trying to be less dependent on the US perhaps, but uh I mean, they still get all the missiles from us, as far as I know, so. Yeah, I mean, it's a very, um... Very expensive and technically difficult thing to do to build modern modern nuclear submarines. I mean, even Britain... Well, Britons are very good, at least as far as I've ever heard, but, uh... They only have what, like... Say six astutes, right? Very expensive. Oh, seven planned, apparently. In any case, very expensive per boat. Yeah, I mean, CBNs seem like the more comfortable option. <laughs> Much larger crews as well, but I mean, although cumulatively, I mean, there must be how many? There's what, like 70? Not, not, not of the, uh, there's 24 Virginias, and there's how many others? So we still have a bunch of Los Angeles, so there's. 50 of those alone, plus... Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. More total people at CPNs, but more... Well, yeah, because... Yeah, plus those, that's... Well, that makes 70, plus... Los Angeles, plus Virginia, plus Ohio, plus Seville. That's... 71, I think, actually, so... Yeah. Okay, beside the point. Um, yeah, makes sense with each of them having their own reactors, of course. Oh, training vessels, well, yeah. I mean, Britain still has a ship of the line on the, uh, on the registry, too. But, uh... Don't exactly count it. Well, we have a 
frigate, and they're not quite the same, but yeah, I've been to both actually. Both pretty tremendous vessels. I wish there were more museum ships. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, obviously those are um, have a little more practical purpose than just uh, well, I doubt the Navy gets that much out of having a working frigate anymore in a uh, practical sense, but fun to have around. Okay. Um, I may add one ship. Yes, please. Well, it has to be to this division. Okay, well. And there's no ships of this type available to add. So, yes, we're not adding one ship. I think that's true. Whether it was any good at that either, I mean... It doesn't exactly have as dick. <laughs> Or any other form of... But it does, doesn't have any engine noise either, but it also doesn't have any ability to detect an unsurfaced submarine, so... What the hell is this? Okay. Um... Back to Port Arthur. I don't think we're winning this one. Uh, yeah, that's true. I guess they could tow something. I mean, I mean, I mean, in a total war situation, if it works at all, but uh, probably I'd still just rather have a destroyer. Let's be honest. I mean, it can also only reach. What, like, under the most favorable wind conditions, probably be lucky to do not even, like, ten knots or something? Thirteen, apparently, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you can get, yeah, center port. Okay, now we just let the Russian battleship do whatever it wants, um, such as sail directly off of our ports, but... Oh, they sank my, um, TR Merchant Zero 900 tons. The Empire will never recover from this. Okay, Italy has joined the war. Um, you know what? The army had better deliver victory. Hydraulic recoil. <laughs> Look, sometimes the Navy has to do a little bit of lying to Congress for, uh... What was actually even the real reason they wanted to lie to Congress? Hydraulic recoil, rate of fire. Ooh, heavy secondary batteries. Ah, uh, that's right, yeah. Secondary guns heavier than 8 inches. Yes, that does ring a bell now. So they just, um... Look. Is it really... new construction if you use one board from the old ship? Surely not. Just a minor refit. Oh come on! They could have used a they could have used a name plaque or something. <laughs> well, they tried. Sounds like they got away with it for a while, eh? Mm -hmm. 
that's pretty good in itself. As a um as a distinction anyway. Okay. Refocusing on the war with Russia here. Busy looking up stuff about constellation. <laughs> um, okay, so the Russians only have 15 battleships in the European theater right now. I have 26 now. And they actually all have uh, central range finding. Oh, it's central. Oh, that's what it's called. Okay. Not central firing, central range finding. Gotcha. Uh, anyway, yes, they all have that. I don't know if the Russians do. Honestly, probably not, because they're Russia, right? So then they've got... I think that they are rushing all these back, mostly. I could probably send a squadron to Northeast Asia, although I don't have a lot. Well, I have the Liaotung Peninsula there, but I'm kind of hoping that Japan just joins the war on our side and handles that, right? What we really are going to need to handle... Well, I kind of can't handle the Mediterranean. I mean, I just can't. There's 44 Italian and Austro-Hungarian battleships. There's no way I can fight those while also fighting the Russian fleet. I think we just have to hope that they don't have the range or capability to actually invade anything important there. It would be a real shame to lose Malta, though. Especially since I can't even really get anything out of this war, except maybe, like, Sakhalin or something. I mean, I guess I can take freely from any of the uh, losers, so... I could get Sardinia or something, but... I mean, I'd probably rather have Sardinia than Sakhalin, honestly. Yeah. I mean, there's no use at all to this, except... Well, it gets me surround Japan pretty well, but we're allies right now. Surely that will never change. The Japanese are, no doubt, a dependable and reliable Asian ally. Who will never... Never want to take the whole East Indies for themselves. Yeah, Sardinia does seem like a good choice, though. Okay. Um. Well, we have two colonial cruisers here. I mean, they're not that distinct, but, uh... We've got Sybil. And we got Pelorus. Pelorus is pretty good. True. I mean, it's hard to beat four severed heads. As a statement... Oh, it's dark. Okay, this battle's not even really going to happen. We're not going to actually see them. They still haven't really fixed this bit about the battle generator. Sometimes... I feel like... It should... If it's going to generate night battles, it should generate them such that you're actually on a collision course at the start. I think it generates these sometimes where you'll see each other shortly if it's daylight, but when night falls, you just don't ever see each other. And it's just a complete guess which way you could go to maybe, whatever, go back to Durban. The dragon is also pretty awesome, so... No. Okay, it was two battleships anyway, so that was not exactly going to be a very fair fight. Oh, I lose one prestige? Come on now. 
Yes, yes, yes. Well, those cruisers will have our best fire control. Okay, they've had one interned. We've stolen some German 11-inch guns. I guess we'd better send a squadron to uh, the Mediterranean. They are up to 18 battleships here to my 26, though, so... Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, but... Let's see, let's send, like, six Collingwoods down there. With... Few, few cruisers for support, maybe. And hopefully they can just kind of hold their own. I mean, they're not going to beat the Italians in a fleet engagement. Also, where did the Italian fleet go? It's in West Africa. Why? I really could not tell you, but that's where it is. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't really want to fight this coastal raid, actually. Um, well, at least there's no aircraft yet. So we've got the battleships HMS Rodney and Anson. These are legacy battleships. They have just been rebuilt with uh, central range finding. But they've got basically no secondary armament worth talking about. And their armor sounds nice, but it's legacy quality, so it's not. And we've got two Drake-class cruisers, King Al- no, one, and then Diadem. And we've got one Abukir-class- this is not that great a fleet, but it's not that terrible. And What is this weather? Oh, mist. I see. Well, I guess we go ahead and make for that. And we'll just- subordinate these to the battleships for now because it's annoying to turn them all manually and we'll see what happens okay it's gonna be dark heck by the time we get there it'll probably be light again almost because it's still, you know, it's only 45. It won't be light by the time we get there, but... Oh, there's actually something here. No, wait. No, it's up by this cruiser. What is it? That actually looks like it might be a warship. Maybe let's get up to speed. The blistering maximum speed of 16 knots. Our cruisers are actually way out of command range, which isn't great. And it's just past midnight, so... It's gonna be a while before daylight. Yeah, lost track of it anyway. Hmm. The risk, of course, is that they have battleships out here somewhere. It's not... Well, it is pretty likely, actually. Hmm. 
learning more about the development. Oh, um, yeah, sounds interesting. Let me write it down. War Trent Home. I'll give it a look someday, hopefully. I'm way behind on reading, but. Okay, um, 227, I'm just gonna idle around until it's daylight, I guess. Because I don't think we're likely to find anything in the dark. True, true, true. Always more books to read. Apparently my stokers are exhausted, honestly. We're only at cruising speed, guys. Calm down. Oh. Spotted something again. Shot at it. And looks like it's probably a freighter, but let's sink it. Definitely a freighter, and we just sailed through it. As is only right. Okay, well, sure. Ain't, no, we don't need two people to pick up survivors from one freighter. Come on, guys. Alright, it's daylight. Sighting range is still only 7,000 yards, because it's extremely foggy. I guess let's sail in towards the port proper. That would have been really awkward, yeah. Look, we have... This is an 1890s battleship. It probably has a ram bow. It's fine. I think they actually stopped doing that at least 10 years before this, but... Hmm. got 14 inches of armor. I mean, that's got to count for something. Okay. Oh, man. They had one battleship. This actually would have been a winning fight if we'd found them. Where were they? Hmm. Wow, we were actually awfully close at daybreak to crossing paths, but, uh, that miserable sighting range kind of ruined it enemy marginal victory come on now I bombarded the port of Toronto and no not HMS Victoria just because of some hmm. Captain Cass has overstrained the engines on a high speed run uh, literally just now uh, I'm not spending prestige on him just fire him I gained VP twice. Look, HMS Victoria is a perfectly fine name. Just because of a few unfortunate historical associations. Jellico survived. I mean. Yeah, it's probably cursed. Better not to chance it. Is this gonna be oh this is an Italian raider well it's probably not a yeah it could be a battleship because the Italian fleet is in Africa for some reason okay well there's the ship it's running away it's probably a good sign not sure we're catching it, but she's running away. Oh, and it's dark. Okay. Unhelpful. Now 
Now it's fully dark. Okay. Due to our regrettable lack of radar, I do not think we're going to find her, so I'm going home. Back to Cape Town. It was a light cruiser. Would have been a fair fight. Two eight inch, ten six inch. Would have been, would have been a win for us probably. But uh, yeah, night. Thanks for watching, sailors. Hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Genda signing off.